story begins of a young man heading to Soviet Russia. Currently, there's like no war breaking out, nothing at all. Well, of course, there's a war in the Ukraine, that is, but otherwise, the American is visiting. He is buying guns to collect for his collection. A Soviet armsman asks, Hey there, comrade. Comrade, do you want to buy a good Kaleshkino for one good dollar? Collector asks why is it so cheap. A Soviet salesman tells him, Oh, the Kaleshkino is very good and very reliable. There is many of the Kaleshkinovs out there in the world today. It is very useful. Alright, I guess it won't break the bargain. Um, hand over the AK-47. <laughs> Well guys, another day, another dollar for NPFR. I didn't expect we were gonna go so left. <laughs> Usually my jokes are not that funny, but this one's uh, quite hilarious. This is a great May May. The AK-47. So, this is a gun that was designed in the Soviet Union by Mikhail Koneshkinov. Oh god, I just butchered his name, even though I'm Russian myself! Of course, in the year 1947, this would replace the Mosin Nagant, which was a sniper rifle, and of course, it's in the game as well. I find many edgy boys using the Mosin Nagant, however, the AK-47 is for the true slot. The one that can handle a recoil while he's drunk, or like a wild bear trying to stand up, pull on a ball and juggle at the same time, while a crowd is yelling him in a circuit sounds like a jet engine while all the children are screaming. The AK-47 uses the 7.62 39mm rounds. The magazine shape took the inspiration from the STG-44. The AK-47 is very durable and takes many years to break down if you use it at full use. However, it's a bitch to fix because it's only pressed metal and wood. You can cannibalize other AK-47s to fix it, but otherwise... It hey, let's admit it. If this is made to be reliable and usable for a very long time, I'm sure it'll get damaged, but it's gonna be such a long time that I think the universe will probably be dead before then. Alright, so in the game, the AK-47 has 30 rounds in the mag and 31 if you choose to reload it when you spawn in, of course. It has 120 in reserve, so it'll last you plenty. If you're good at aiming, of course, and you just don't spray and pray. It handles great at short and mid range, but the vodka starts kicking it at long range. So you have to treat it like a DMR at long ranges, but I'm sure it does enough damage. For my personal class, please recommend to Petrify TV, choose I use. Farska Electrosai, vertical grip, and of course, the green laser to balance it all out. Please, no barrel attachments. Also, I'm not getting gameplay, because I almost got cancer when I got into a game just to record some goddamn game. For attachments, I'd say play around, because I have no idea how it's going to work out. Maybe you could try a scope on it. I'll try a scope with it on later on when the game is not so cancerous. But otherwise, um, Baraska Electrosite and um, Green Laser and Vertical Grip. No barrel attachments because it makes the stats cancer. And personally myself, I go for sight accuracy and accuracy in general. Hip accuracy can just go drop off. And you know, eh, typical walk speed for an assault rifle or running speed as well. I recommend to any rank 47 out there who's watching, please uh, use the AK-47. Guys, you're like still at rank 60 and it took you a year to get to. Rank 60, like really? Come on. Take me like three months to get to rank 100. Oh, he's a tryhard. Wow. In the six months or half a year, you'll be at rank 200. Oh, it slows down, believe me. AK 47, sponsored by Vodka Farts and Falling <laughs> Owners. If you aim with this like a tryhard, you'll never get a single kill. Trust me. Just aim. It's point and click. It's like the easiest thing to use on the planet. Of course, this is also Phantom Forces, so sniping feels like a phase clan montage. Every time you hit a feed, of course, and or hit a clap. Oh, I hit a clap. Whoa, guys, it's crazy. <laughs> Whoa, you see that clap too? Yeah, in the game. The gameplay is running, of course. Hit a clap like a while back, just like hit rewind a couple times. Get out. I mean, uh, two thin nine paste on Roblox. Uh, I'll get to play with you on Phantom Forces if I can. Otherwise, I'll be playing another game because I get tired of this. <laughs> but anyways. Reliable, good, efficient, don't aim, just point and click, be slav, get drunk on this game. If you want to use the AK-47, this is for the true slav who drinks vodka 24-7. In Russia, you don't have pure water, you have jet fuel to drink, so have fun. 
Yeah, it's gonna be crazy and cool. Anyways, guys, I'll see you later. Four minutes has been reached. Thank you for watching another NPFR video. Toothpaste is squeezed out. Whoa.